Hi guys, this is Joe here from Rufio back for another vlog. Last time we did it, it was the UK Nationals 2019 in Derby. Uh, we've decided we're going to do some more of the same for YCS London. Absolutely the best event of the year. Apologies about all the shaky camera so I've got some wobbly ass hands. So I'll use two to try and steady things a little bit. Uh, but we are here in the kitchen as always before we get picked up. Uh, we're waiting for Liam and then once he's here, we're going to go get some breakfast. Uh, way too much. That's how you stay a chungus like me. And uh, yeah, we'll go eat some food. We're going to go pick up James the Giant Thumb and then head on our way to London, I suspect. We're going to be out there as usual. Uh, going to be pretty obvious to spot, I think. Pretty unique face. Uh, we've got the Rufio shirt on. We've got Rufio hoodies, if I can get this thing. This is my first time using a selfie stick. I'm not really a selfie kind of guy. Uh, we've got the Rufio bag. We've got Rufio hoodie. Uh, so we are going to be easy to spot for anyone who does watch the channel. So hopefully I'll get to see some faces there that... I've spoken to online because there's quite a few people I've connected with over the channel uh, and that kind of thing and uh, hopefully get to meet some people out there who watch the channel and and sort of get to say hi so uh, we'll see you in a bit Where is he, the thumb? James! Jump, jump! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> so we've just arrived at the venue, guys, and uh, well, we're going over for pre-reg. We've got to go find the hogs. I think it's different to last year. I've got Liam here with me in the boot, and the living thumb jam jam the other side of that white car. Getting our parking for the day. And we'll be back in a bit. Chill hot music. <laughs> 
You know, I'm not gonna lie, I've got pictures of you on my phone, broads. I've got pictures of you on my phone. <laughs> So I've ordered a strong bow. Broads has ordered an orange juice. Liam's ordered a beer. And James has ordered an entire bottle of water. The whole time, looking at the screen, eating ice cream. Just going in the lap of the belly. It's beautiful. Oh. I can't take him seriously. <laughs> you just like ah. James over here has had a whole bottle of wine <laughs> and now has a tub of ice cream. <laughs> that he was planning to eat with his bare hands until he found a spoon in a mug in the room. Why oh, yeah, is lit. <laughs> End of day one, uh, nothing too exciting, it's pre-range. Uh, Broads is coming back in the room as we speak. He's trying to get in the room. I think you, like, did he take the kick? You... Oh, here he is. Broads is now back in the room after his quick call for an escort. You all set, bro. Finally over his key, man. <laughs> and we're, uh, we're all getting ready for day he's, two. Nice and chill for the rest of the evening. We had a nice curry out. Which uh, is not normally my sort of thing, but I think we all enjoyed our courage, right? Yep. Oh, well, not bad, not bad. So, Super tasty. Yeah, it was good. Uh, yeah, so all the excitement for the day is over, and we're getting ready for day two. So we'll see you there. <laughs> what is that? Is that the whole... <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's the thing of you, that is Jesus there. Christ. So we're back again, we're ready for day two. Uh, well, day one of the actual YCS. Uh, in with the Tuggers, in the car on the way to the venue, about five minutes away. Broads mm -hmm. in the background here with that fucking hair. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, it's been crazy. Like we've been watching all over Facebook, everyone going off because- uh, The cap. Yeah, the cap has been insane. Um, was it like 1,600 people were ready yesterday, registered? Yeah. Yeah, and then the, the cap is 1,800, so there was a lot of people queuing at like 6, 7 this morning. Uh, a lot of people who haven't got here yet, that probably don't even know what's going on, are going to rock up here and not be able to play. Uh, lesson learned here, guys. you got a pre-reg. Uh, this is the truth of the matter. Everyone knows that everyone cuts into this. There's an awful lot of players that turn up just for uh, access to MCM. Uh, so if you're gonna turn up and play at the event, you need to be there for the pre-reg, like realistically. So uh, to anyone out there who uh, hasn't experienced this before, and you're thinking on coming to YCS London at some point in the future, definitely rock up for pre-reg. And uh, yeah, the next time we'll be back with you is probably after round one, after I've been absolutely hammered for bricking my entire hand. <laughs>
Dream's probably over for tomorrow, but we can at least have some more fun. Play some more games today. I've been going to Comic Con a little bit later on when we're fed up with Yugi. Uh, yeah, just unfortunate that I've had a. My game one was my worst possible matchup, and then the second one was probably the worst possible road strategy I've ever played against. So, uh, yeah, we'll just have to plug along and see what happens. Hi guys, we're back with another update. Uh, we played the Thunder Mirror for round three. Uh, got the win, so that's nice. Uh, we're not quite out yet. Uh, I think if we lose any more games, though, it's pretty much uh, game over from there. Um, Thunder Mirror, not one that I've experienced at this sort of level before or anything like that. Um, so, definitely something interesting for me. That uh, gizmo was absolutely clutch, as you'll see in my uh, deck profile. I don't think I'm going to need to focus on getting it more. Uh, but just being able to control your opponent's grave and just like keep the establishing advantage and just grind a little bit. Uh, I was super playing heavy. Um, to avoid super poly, there is super polys everywhere. I was fully expecting him to sign it in. He didn't actually have it, I found out afterwards. So I played around it a whole game for no reason, but you've got to do these things like when you think you've got the advantage, you've got to play smart and, and it sort of paid off. Um, yeah, his name is Anthony, really nice guy. Uh, we had a really, really good solid match. Uh, unfortunately, it went to time and I won in time. Uh, it was a good result for me, but of course, it's never nice to lose in time. And I'll be back after the next round. Hi guys, so another round down. Uh, I've just played against August. Uh, the guy was running a brilliant fusion engine, which was kind of interesting because this was something I was prepped for, so try and play around it the best we can. Uh, we had a really good couple of games, like back and forth, and then game three, I just saw no Thunder Dragons, uh, no way to get to any, and then I made a small misplay in my only line of play that I could have done. Uh, so that was partially my own fault, but I don't think if I'd done the great play, it would have made a difference. Uh, so it is what it is. We lost to, to August. Uh, again, our hardest matchup, and I think that we took him to the, to the very end, and then just unfortunately that a brick means that we didn't get the full nice game out of it. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is, <laughs> and uh, we lose. So we're X1-2, so one draw, two losses. So we're not going anywhere yet, and I'm not salty or anything like that, so I can literally just keep playing and as long as I've got time to have some fun. I pretty much don't make day two at this rate, but it just means I can spend tomorrow messing around in Comic-Con and say hello to some of the Yugi lads and just messing around in the hall, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to keep playing for the foreseeable future and uh, we'll make a decision over the next few rounds to see how we get on. So we're back out here in the uh, shitty British weather, as you can see. Still raining plenty. Uh, we've got another round down. Um, we won that one and we ended up with a 10 minute time extension. Fortunately, still finished before the clock. Uh, I 2 0 him. He was playing Salaman Greats. Uh, game one was pretty much a blowout. Game two was more or less the same. Uh, unfortunately, the guy, he said he'd, he'd actually left the, his deck that he was intending to play at home, so he ended up playing like another one that he had kicking about, which was Salaman Greats. He's not super sharp with it. It's felt a little bit bad for him, but we had a really good game. He was super, super nice. Uh, but we ended up having to appeal to the head judge over rule and over goes a match, and whether it resolves at the end of it, uh, whether it needs to still be on the field at the end of the chain for it to its effect to take place. Uh, the head judge ruled that its effect is immediate, so it changed things a little bit, but I still rebuilt my field and just went in for game the same time. So, yeah, things are still good uh we're one draw two losses uh yeah so we're just gonna keep going uh, until we hit that we can't make 15 points marker and uh yeah we'll just see what happens so we'll see you after the next one so here we are guys another round down uh i played an oliver uh he was playing cyber dragons really really cool uh always a scary matchup because they can just blow you out, out of nowhere but everything went really really well of course we got the uh we got the win so we can't drop any more points if we don't we make day two if we do of course that's the end of the road we'll probably play out the last two rounds anyway seeing as we're here and then we'll just be hanging around for content and uh comic con tomorrow and hopefully some of our boys make it it looks like they will so Hopefully we'll uh, have that to go with it as well, so I'll see you after the next round. So we're back. Uh, day one finished. Uh, we decided to drop after round seven. Uh, essentially the plan was, when I realized that there was still a chance to potentially make day two, I wanted to carry on playing. Um, I needed to win all my games and then I lost my second to last round, so I decided to drop there. Uh, so the end result was we ended on three losses and a draw uh, and then three wins. 
Um, so not quite as good as we'd hoped, but certainly an improvement on last year for sure. Uh, definitely made a hell of a lot less misplays. So usually when I was losing, it was because, um, generally speaking, I was just playing better decks. So it was like a brick scenario, or it's very, very close losses. Very, very few down to like my own kind of stupidity and stuff like that, which is a, is a good improvement for a start, you know? Um, so yeah, we're, we're done with day one. Uh, we won't be doing day two uh, mm -hmm. in terms of playing, but we will be there trying to get some footage and supporting the boys that are still there and hopefully get some content. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're done for the day. We're going to go hit some food, hopefully, and uh, then just chill until tomorrow. stuff can army stall behind me just gotta got my map gonna get it all signed up later on hopefully we'll get some footage of that too i definitely have some of their Yu-Gi-Oh cards so we gotta got my missus this golden egg thing that's in here oh oh all good thank you she's gonna be super happy with me that i haven't just spent all my money on Yu-Gi-Oh. I see it.
that is the end of the video, guys. Um, we're just about to hit the journey home. No point in me showing you any uh, videos on the way back, but outside wise, yes, late at night, everyone's gone. We've sat around, I've got nice, nice videos, got to meet Simo uh, and a bunch of the other YouTubers that were out and about there. Super nice guy. Actually, yeah, we had a really good event. Uh, results not entirely how we wanted, but better than, than we'd expected. We had a really good day too. Spent plenty of time at Comic Con, all that exciting stuff. Got my boys behind me, uh, James and Liam. And uh, yeah, so I can't wait for the next one, of course. Made loads of new faces. Good event as always, and I recommend if anyone hasn't, certainly come out to them. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you in the next video. I'm afraid that's all we have time for in this video. If by chance you haven't had enough of listening to me waffle at you through a video about a children's card game, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are on the screen, or if you're feeling really lazy, you can click the links in the description. While you're at it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content too. It'll make me smile, I promise. And who could ask for more than that? Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.